Well, y'all, there it is. This video, I will show you how to make the best, the creamiest, the cheesiest macaroni and cheese. Mm -mm -mm. So stay tuned. Hey y'all, so these are the things that I use to make my mac and cheese. Not a whole lot, um, but yeah. So I use from left to right some monster cheese. I just got the slices and diced it up. I normally get the chunk and shred it. And then next to it, I have some white cheddar. Next to that, I have some um, sharp cheddar and some Gruyere and a little Fontina. And to the far right, I have some Kobe. And then this is, I have two pounds of elbows, four cups of heavy cream, four tablespoons of flour, four tablespoons of butter. So this is gonna be what I'm gonna use for my macaroni and cheese. I've been wanting to do this video again for quite some time. So now for the holidays, I decided to do it. Um, hopefully I have time to do my lobster macaroni and cheese, if not by Thanksgiving, hopefully by Christmas, okay? So you're gonna drain your pasta. Do not rinse it. Don't rinse it. Don't rinse it. All right, so I said don't rinse it, but you can add a little bit of oil to it. Just a little bit to keep it from sticking. Okay, I'm losing pasta overboard, but it's all right. All right, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna, to make your cheese sauce, you are going to, and you wanna have everything ready to go because this moves pretty quickly. You're gonna need the butter, the flour, you're gonna need a whisk, you're gonna need your shredded cheese, your heavy cream. If you want, you can use half and half or milk. And you're gonna need a, a spatula, silicone spatula or Whatever. The closest thing you got to that. You don't got to go out and buy one just to make macaroni and cheese. So the butter's melted. I'm going to add my flour. And no matter how much macaroni and cheese you're making, you're going to do equal parts flour, equal parts butter. Okay? To make your cheese sauce. No matter what you're making cheese sauce for, it's equal parts flour, equal parts butter. All right, let me put my handy dandy mitt on. And basically what you're doing here is you're just cooking out that raw flour taste. About three minutes. And I'm not gonna sit here. And, and you wanna, you know, get that going, get that moving. And if it's, it should be like this when you get your when you start making your roux it should be like this it should not be crumbly it should be forming like this it should not be crumbly if it's crumbly you don't have enough butter in there okay all right so now i'm going to add my heavy cream See the thickness of that heavy cream? Alright, so you're going to have to let this go and you're going to be whisking it. This is where you really need a whisk. So that you don't have lumps. You're going to let that go. And then I'll be back. Okay, so once your bechamel starts to thicken, as you can see, 
Now you want to add your cheese. Okay. And you're going to reserve a little bit for the top. Or you can just get an extra pack and put it on the top. Okay. It's up to you. Add a little bit at a time. Now you're going to switch to your... And I'm sorry if y'all hear that fan in the background, but honey, this here oven from a gas stove, honey, it puts off so much heat. And there you go. The cheese isn't completely melted yet, but it's getting there. Make sure you season your roux, your sauce, before you add everything with salt and pepper. I didn't do that. So I'm going to do it now. A little bit of salt. I like black pepper in my macaroni and cheese. Um, a lot of people don't. A lot of people add white pepper. It's totally preference. There we go. And that, my friends, is your macaroni and cheese sauce oh. all right so now we're gonna put it all together and the most important thing I forgot to mention was cook your pasta in a big enough pot to mix it all in cuz I cooked my pasta in that pot and I made my roux in that pot had I used my other pot I could have uh, mixed it all together in that pot as well but I didn't so now I gotta get my big bowl here and mix it up okay and that way you only messed up one pot that's just normally what I, what I normally do but I have so much going on today that I didn't do that but here we go okay oh my. okay so I'm gonna mix this up and break the pasta up a little bit You don't want your cheese sauce so thick that it doesn't want to pour. So, if you see where your cheese sauce is too thick, add a little bit of more heavy cream or half and half or whatever you use, milk. Just add about a quarter cup of it just to loosen it up a little bit. And it'll be totally fine. Sometimes it gets away from you. Now this is two pounds of pasta. This recipe can be doubled, tripled, halved. And I'm definitely gonna I'm gonna have the recipe in the description box for all the you know with all the uh, measurements and everything. It may seem a little different than what you saw here, but some stuff I didn't necessarily um, add. Well, I added it, but you didn't necessarily see it all. Okay? Alright, so I'm going to be right back. Alright, and here I have my handy dandy casserole dish. It's probably my favorite casserole dish. It was a gift. Oops. Sorry about that, y'all. Yeah. Make sure that all your pasta is coated with the cheese, okay? Make sure you mix it up really well. Mm 
make sure you scrape that bowl out really well or pot because you'll use the right size pot now all right so I'm glad y'all can't see my sink right now I gotta wash some more dishes so now what we're gonna do is with the cheese that I had left over I'm gonna mix it up y'all don't have to use the same type of cheese as I use you use whatever you like use the type if you want to use all sharp cheddar that's fine just make sure they're creamy cheeses cheeses that are gonna melt down well okay So now this is going to go into an oven, 350 degree oven, for about 20 minutes. And um, then you'll be done. Alright, just to be on the safe side, I took my sheet pan and uh, my silicone mat, put it on here just so that there's not a huge mess in the oven. There it is. It has about eight more minutes. All right, 20 minutes later and it is done. <clears throat> For me, I don't have to let mine brown. If you want it to brown, you can leave it in for a little longer and let it brown, but that's not a necessity for me. <sighs> so, Let's see what it looks like on the inside. Uh -uh -uh. Well, y'all. That is it. That's how I make my macaroni and cheese. And, um, look at that. Mm -mm -mm. All right, a few things. Normally, I shred my cheese, but because I'm doing like three different videos today, I didn't shred it. It's not a big deal if you don't shred the cheese. Save yourself some time. Don't shred the cheese. It's not It's not that serious. What I will suggest as far as the cheeses go, if you haven't ever tried having white cheddar in your macaroni and cheese or Monster, please give those a try. Monster is probably the creamiest, one of the creamiest cheeses. Give it a try. And, you know, you never know what you might think of it. All right, so y'all, that is it. Thank y'all so much for watching. I really appreciate y'all coming here, taking time out of your day to watch these videos. Thank you so much. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe, hit the like button, and share. And comment and let me know what is your favorite side for Thanksgiving. Thank y'all so much again. I'll see y'all next time. Bye.